Hey guys, Fred and Sheila McCoy, Hatfield McCoy Museum and Adventures. As you can see, we're on an adventure. Mm -hmm. We're actually on vacation. I uh, wasn't planning on doing any videos on vacation and probably won't be doing them more after this one, but somebody has sent us a page from a Facebook page where they were questioning, talking about Cap Hatfield. First, they were talking about Cap Hatfield being called Little Cap, mm -hmm. uh, Little Captain. We done a story on this. If you go back to our videos, it wasn't Little Captain. Little Captain was Little Captain Shepherd Hatfield. It's on his tombstone, mm -hmm. Captain Shepherd Hatfield. That was on his birth certificate. That's his name, Captain Shepherd Hatfield. It wasn't Cap. Cap got his nickname from having a blasting cap, either from a, a rifle or from blowing a stump out of the ground, a blasting cap that went to dynamite. One of the two blew up in his eye and put a white cap over his eye for years. Captain Shep Hatfield is the one that's in Coleman Hatfield's book. Now, this gentleman brings up a good point and he asked a question. He says, uh, Captain Little Cap was the one that starved to death. Another man says, oh no, that's, that's bullshit. Well, no, it's not bullshit. This is the bullshitter that stays on there talking nonsense all the time. This is the guy that says, go find it. It's out there, go research it, go do this, go do that. Just like this gentleman says, that's, that didn't help answer my question none. You, you know, BS, I, I'm asking a legitimate question. He says, well, it's, it's bogus stories. Well, he evidently don't know where the story originated from because the story originated from Cap Hatfield's own grandson, Coleman C. Hatfield, in his book, Tale of the Devil. Sheila and I have done a story on it. Go back and look for Captain Shepherd Hatfield, the story on, and you'll see the story. We'll show you the page. I think it's 285 in Coleman Hatfield's book where Coleman Hatfield says that uh, his dad had told him that his brother uh coleman c hatfield's father was coleman a hatfield and he told him that his brother shepherd had died from malnutrition he starved to death mm -hmm. and um so it, you, you know these people it's funny that they they give coleman c hatfield praise when it's something they like and they say oh he's a great historian a great family historian but when he's got a story this is not written by mccoy this is not written by somebody else this is Coleman C. Hatfield that said this in his own book. One fella, another author, says, I wish he would have never put that in his book. That makes it look bad. Well, if you're going to write the truth, tell everything. I'm glad he did put it in his book. Now, this same gentleman, somebody else come back, and they start talking about him having a law degree. And, and somebody, this Angela Holbert says, what law school did he go to? And David Hatfield, of course, David Hatfield's the one from California, supposedly, and knows all about the feud, but don't know jack shit about it. He don't know nothing about it. He makes it up as he goes. And he says, oh, it's out there. You just have to find it. And she said, what law school did he go to? Well, we've done a story on Cap Hatfield. We've done about three stories. We've researched every law school in Tennessee. We've researched everything there is to be researched about it. Cap Hatfield was not an attorney he'd never passed no bar he was not a member of no bar association because they wasn't even uh established, established until after 1930 most of them when he had died mm -hmm. so it just didn't happen so that's written in the history but mr hatfield says here david hatfield says angela holbert university of law in huntsville tennessee first time we've ever heard that huntsville tennessee we've heard honeydon honeydon tennessee didn't even have a, a college established there for a law school. We talked to City Hall, the clerks, everybody. Mm -hmm. And that's where Cap Hatfield's wife told Lee, the author in the Appalachian story that we done. Howard B. Lee. Howard, thank you, babe. Howard B. Lee, uh, that Nancy Hatfield told him that she had done a, uh, that Cap had gone to Huntington, mm -hmm. Tennessee, to get his law degree. Right. And, uh, that we found that that's fibulous. That did not happen. It's not true. In fact, Nancy Hatfield also said that uh, Randall McCoy come to visit Cap before he died. Cap died in 1930, and she said in 1928 he come to visit him. Well, Randall McCoy died in 1914, so mm -hmm. I guarantee you Randall McCoy didn't come to visit Cap Hatfield. So, irrelevant. Let's go on with this right here, and we'll shut this video out. Okay. David Hatfield says, University of Law in Huntsville, Tennessee. Guys, it's real simple. Google Huntsville uh, Law School 
in uh, Tennessee. There is no such place. Okay. There's a Huntsville Technology School, mm -hmm. Huntsville, um, whatever it was there, that uh, technology, uh, Tennessee College of Applied Technology, Huntsville. And uh, school was established in 1960. 1960, that's where Cap's supposed to got his law degree. Mm -hmm. First of all, it's a technology school. Second of all, it wasn't established till 1960. Guys, Cap Hatfield died in 1930. I'm not going to beat a dead horse with you. Like I said, we're on vacation. I, I love you people. I've seen all there six all. or eight people. Go ahead, Sheila. Thank you all so much for um, responding to that and, and trying to help us set the record straight as well. We love it. We love seeing people, and we love seeing how these people squirm when you ask these questions. And once again, when you see them just cuss you out, and they say that's BS or that's this, you ain't asking for BS. You're asking for evidence. Your simple question. Don't take us for idiots. Thank you. Don't don't take me for an idiot. Please just tell me what law school. Please tell me where his law degree. Please tell me where he passed the bar. Please tell me where you get cap as little cap. Guys, it's not true. And you're doing great. Keep asking questions. Hold your feet to the fire. Good job, guys. We'll Keep up the good work. We'll see you when we get back off vacation and uh, talk some more on some of these videos then. Hang in there. We love it. Thanks a lot, guys. Hi guys, thanks for watching our video today. Please like, subscribe, and share. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.